Good evening. I'm Sam Haskell, Chairman of the Board of the Miss America Organization, and I'm thrilled to be here tonight with our two newest Miss America preliminary winners, Rosie Savage, who won a $2,000 Amway scholarship tonight in talent, and Mandy Schindel, who won the swimsuit competition and a $1,000 Amway scholarship as well. This culminates our three nights of preliminaries. Now it's up to the judges. What's really interesting about what we're all going through right now is that the judges have now seen each of our contestants in interviews, swimsuit, evening gown, onstage question, and talent. And it's talent, community service, and scholarship that distinguish us from all of the programs who try to emulate us. <laughs> Kaylani Ray Rafko Wilson is celebrating her 25th 25 anniversary right. of being crowned Miss America. And if I recall, you also won your swimsuit. I did. In fact, I just kind of want to touch this one. I already <laughs> have one of these, but I did 25 years ago, and and a lot's changed. I have to tell you, I'm just so thrilled because one of the things that excites me the most about being a former Miss America coming back mm -hmm. is to see how involved all of the women are in their communities and their states and across the country with the platform issue. And during my year, um, unintentionally, um, I was crowned Miss America during a nursing crisis and there was a nursing shortage in our country. And so as Miss America, you're offered all these wonderful opportunities and even at a local level to go out and speak. And this program gives that platform and that forum to be able to share things that are really important. Um, to you as an individual and to your neighborhood and your communities. And so I love coming back every year and seeing and hearing about all the wonderful platforms. And a lot's changed because everyone's so involved and we truly make a difference. I love the fact that we have Children's Miracle Network. Mm -hmm. As a nurse, you can't imagine all the wonderful things you do in reaching out to so many people. Right. So that's the, the one part of Miss America that I'm extremely proud of and it's great to see. So yeah, I'm, congratulations, Thank that's you. such an awesome thing. I think and it's a great thing for our viewers to know that actually the platform part of our competition started with your year and you. you were very instrumental in that Thank and you. we all appreciate yes. that. Thank I'd you. love to know if you see any distinct difference between 25 years ago in your competition and what you've seen Mandy and Rosie doing in their Well, my goodness, I have to tell a little joke. I know my mom, she says, you know, I'm only half kidding, but this is intense. I mean, these <laughs> women, she said, honey, I don't think if you were competing oh. now, if you'd win it. Oh, you know, yes, she you said, are. and I'm like, mom, and she said, I'm just kidding. But, um, you know, honestly, it is. It's just, you know, I, I just, there's so much more talent training. And, you know, I mean, Miss America is, has always been a public figure but has always kept up with the times. And um, you know, we, we just adapt and we, are, we, are, we represent strong women of today. We're very relevant and um, I'm just excited. And you know, we've kept up with the times and I tell you, it's gonna be a hard decision for those judges. And I'm not just saying that. I mean, you're all wonderful and I know that the board would love to work with every one of you. So, um, and what's so great about it is you continue your work back in your home states and hopefully mm -hmm. we'll be a part of this program and great memories and help you become a So a lot's changed, including the bathing suit. <laughs> well, why don't you talk that to Mandy suit. about her award-winning figure? Yes, how wonderful. And I know that it's Thank all about you. good health. And yes. I have to tell you, the last year and a half, I took off 53 pounds. Mm. So I know how difficult it is. Yes. To, you know, so tell us a little bit about maybe some of the things that you do to stay in shape. Definitely. So for me, it is very much a journey as well. When I won my state title, I had the opportunity to speak with some of my judges, and they actually said to me, you know, we're so excited for you, you've got to work on your body. It really is your lowest area. And as a, as a woman, that's never a fun thing to hear. You know, right. I always want to feel beautiful. Mm -hmm. And it was a matter of really taking my health seriously and just making it a lifestyle choice. Mm -hmm. So I'm so honored to have this award, and what I hope that it really means is that I represent all of the women on the stage. Not that I have the smallest body or even the most toned body, but simply that I'm a woman that has worked very, very hard for my figure. I'm healthy. I still drink my peppermint white chocolate mochas. I am from Seattle. And, and I just, I take it seriously, but, you know, very attainable, very doable. It's something that everyone can do. It's just a matter of believing in yourself right. and believing in your body. Absolutely. And you keep it real. Yes. You're, you're living life. Yes. But Absolutely. it's probably moderation and yes. just, yeah, and, and taking pride and, and taking care of yourself. I think the so. biggest thing is you just have to, you have to own it. You have to love mm -hmm. the decisions that you're making. And when you're proud of yourself, I think that shows to everyone you else. You owned it. You owned it tonight. <laughs> Thank so that you. was wonderful. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you. Now, May, now um, Rosie, yes. you're the only contestant in the Miss America pageant to accompany herself and sing. 
and I was very impressed with how your presentation came across. You had such great confidence and were so lovely in your voice and, and the way you played, it just blended together. How did you choose this particular piece? And I think our viewers would also like to know, did you learn to play the piano first and then learn to sing, or did it all sort of happen at the same time? And how did you decide to do this for your talent? Yeah, absolutely. Well, I actually decided to do this piece. It's Make You Feel My Love by Bob Dylan, because Bob Dylan is one of my favorite artists, and he's such a great lyricist, and I love his writing. So that's how I decided to, to, to do that piece for Miss America. But I kind of have a funny story about how I learned to sing. I was really, really afraid of singing in front of people. I couldn't even sing in front of my mom when I was younger until I was actually in college. So I was about 19 years old. Wow. So it's really amazing to me that I'm standing here with this award for playing piano and singing because I couldn't even do it just five years ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's really, really exciting for me. Piano, however, is a different story. I could play piano by ear when I was about two years old. So that's been my wow. first love. But yeah, singing came a little bit later, but it's all come together and I'm just so honored. Now, did you sing school. and play the piano in the Miss North Dakota pageant? I did not this past year, no, but I was really aching to, to do both mm -hmm. of them together. So I figured, wow. why not? That's so great. <laughs> yeah. That's so great. So Any words of wisdom from either of you to maybe a little girl out there mm -hmm. looking at you and dreaming of being you one day, what would you like to tell them? Well, I would like to say, I, just go for it, because I am someone who kind of joined um, the Miss America organization a little bit later. I was, the first time that I competed in a local pageant was when I was in college, and I wish that I would have been more involved earlier in my life. So it's something that I really am an advocate for, for younger girls especially, to get more involved with. So just go for it. Try right. it out. Great. Yeah. Mandy? And I, I would say something very similar. You just have to believe in yourself. I have a similar story. Mm -hmm. I started late in the Miss America organization and this was my first local, state, and national pageant all at once. And, mm -hmm. and it was because I didn't necessarily believe in myself entirely. And I think the more you can really find out who you are, figure out what you're passionate about, and just go for it. Whatever it is, just go for your dreams. And I think Rosie and I are a good testament that yes. it can work out pretty well. <laughs> well, I'd say it did work out very well. And just as a reminder to all of you tuning in, the Miss America pageant airs live on ABC from 9 to 11 Eastern and 8 to 10 Central. And the uh, hour immediately preceding will be the ABC documentary, The Road to Miss America, where you're gonna get an up close and personal look at many of our contestants as they have gone through the last six months of their journey to Las Vegas, Planet Hollywood, and the Miss America crown. Be there, support this program, do not watch that football game. <laughs> you watch the Miss America pageant on Saturday night. I'm Sam Haskell. And I'm Kehlani Ray Rafko, Miss America, 1988. Good night.